Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Daily Bread, July 18th. The sins of every man were punished in Christ. Tell of the cross where they nailed him, writhing in anguish and pain. Tell of the grave where they laid him, tell how he liveth again. Love in that story so tender, clearer than ever I see. Stay, let me weep while you whisper, love pay the ransom for me. Tell me the story of Jesus. Write on my heart every word. Tell me the story most precious, sweetest that ever was heard. The sins of every man were punished in Christ. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24 This inability to comprehend divine truth and to see in Christ the character of God wounds the Savior as verily today as when he said to Philip, have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? The word was made flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. The Son of the infinite God tasted death for every man. He left the royal courts and clothed his divinity with humanity. For our sakes he became poor, that we through his poverty might be made rich. When here he did not rank with kings and nobles, with the wealthy of the earth, but with the poor, those who were obliged to toil for their living. He was misunderstood, falsified, hated, maligned by his own nation. He was despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example, that ye should follow his steps, who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth, who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. The sins of every man were punished in Christ. They were placed on the innocent sin-bearer as though they were his own. They were charged to his account. Christ so loved man fallen though he is, that he bound up his interest with each sinner. In him divinity and humanity were united. He linked himself with every son and daughter of Adam. Having taken the responsibility of dying in the sinner's stead, his interests are identified with those of every member of the human family. And every evil deed, every transgression, every rebellion, whether of thought or action, pierces the heart of Christ, for he has pledged himself to represent humanity. In the cross of Calvary, mercy and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. By taking human nature, Christ fastened each sinner to himself with threads of sympathy and love that can never be broken, until he shall say with awful majesty, He that is unjust, 
let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. Individually, we must accept Christ as our only hope. We must know him. He is our day's man, and before him we must confess and renounce our sins. He made a complete renunciation of himself for man, and man, through Jesus, must make a complete renunciation of himself to God. This passage was taken from Signs of the Times, February 3rd, 1898. Our Daily Bread, July 18th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.